did you know how to drive a Formula E car? I'm sure you did, but let me go over it one more time. Firstly, when you get it, go over to the controls. There's a couple of things. You need to go to increment mixture and decrement mixture. That's essentially your kind of engine power during the race. Secondly, go to engine brake map up and engine brake map down. That's your regen. You need to have those on your wheel. Now let's take a lap with Graham Carroll, the finalist in the Visa e-race at the start of the year. As you can see, Graham is already coasting to this corner, applying brake to get regen back. He then puts the power down hard out of the corner. Setting the regen high means you get more regen back into your battery, but it's not as fast. And Formula is all about strategy, it's about conserving power. As you can see, Graham's already coasting to the corner, he applies the brake hard to get the regen, and now he's back on the power. He coasts through this corner as well, and then is back on the power. Formula E is all about efficiency, it's about being smooth. It's about using the flow of the track and applying the throttle out of the corners. As you can see, Graham's braking really hard into this hairpin to get the regen, and then getting the power down as hard as possible to get the speed up. Now a couple of tips. In qualifying, you can run high downforce and put the power at maximum. In race trim, you've got to run really low downforce because you need to be as efficient as possible. You've got to last 23 laps here before you can pit. There's just one stop. And here's Graham approaching the end of the lap. Did you know? Now you do.